Hello, welcome to Dan's Origami. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these, which is your traditional style crane. I made a couple of uh, pretty ones here that are going to be for a profile picture on my YouTube later on. Right, and I've got one here with a few more advanced folds on it, like a kink in the tail and some slits and this bit. And Anyway, we'll come back to him because I'm not sure I prefer that over that. But I'll show you how to do them anyway. Now let's get rid of those. Right, standard square piece of paper. This one's cut down from an A4 sheet, so you can get this anywhere. If you're using patterned paper, you want to start with a pattern on the bottom, because then the pattern will be on the outside instead of the plain bit on the outside. Right, so our first fold is in half as a square. So our first fold, and we undo that one. Turn it 90 degrees and then fold it in half again as a square right so this gives us two marker folds and they both fold up our pattern would be on the, this side and what we need to do now is turn it over so this would be the pattern side and then we do a fold diagonally squish that flat and we undo that fold and then we just fold it over again so now what we've done is we've got two folds that go up and one fold that goes in so these two diagonal folds bring down like that and that should go flat that's why we turn it over to do the diagonal fold so then it turns in on itself most people do it the other way and you have to fold them against themselves but if you do that a little bit it just makes it a little bit easier okay now we've got this diamond shape and we've got our open part at the bottom and our pointy part at the top so what we're going to do is because they're like that I want to hold them there and put my nail on the tip like that and then we're going to fold that over and create a crease. Most other people don't do this but this line here is really helpful instead of just guessing. So I'm going to put my nail back on the, the point and then we're going to fold this bottom edge here to the centre line. Just like that and what I'm going to do is not go all the way to the centre line, just leave about one millimetre gap. That will make a fold later on a bit easier. And what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this process another three times for the other four folds. So let's do the other one. So we've got the open end here. And I put my nail on the point and fold it to the center. Run my nail across it. There we go. So now we have a kite shape. And we've still got the fold um, the open end at the bottom. Let's uh, repeat that process and so nail there. Got a center line, nail back, leaving about a millimeter in the center. That will really help out later on, that will. Um, try and get these points neat, because these are your details. These are the bits that everybody are going to be looking at. Right, we've got our diamond shape. We've got our closed pointy end at the top, and our sharp pointy end at the bottom. The two folds we've just done, we're going to undo. So we're back to our diamond shape. And we're going to do something called a petal fold, which means we're going to lift this up, tuck those bits in, and then put that up all the way. Um, what I like to try and do to make this easier is where these lines come and meet the top here put my fingers and then I put my hand inside the top slit and just do that so what that's done is it's put the first crease almost in so you should be able to just push those in like that and then you re-crease the top if you can't do that and that doesn't seem to work for you another way of doing it is to start at the bottom here you lift it up and it should almost go to where it is. You'll have a few creases around here that won't look right. But sort them out. Start your point here and you put that bit over and then work your way up. And you should go all the way up to where that crease is just there. And that should make it a lot easier. And then you push that all the way up like that. That millimetre gap we've left is now here. If you'd left no gap, these two pieces of paper would be right up to each other, and if you've made any mistakes, they'll be on top of each other and it'll look awful. 
Alright, so we'll fold it over and we'll do the same thing again. Open those, lift the top one up, I hold my two points, do my initial fold like that. Push that point in, and that's that way of doing it. The other way of doing it, working our way up like that, and refolding it. And now push everything nice and flat. All right, at this point, you might your two points here might not line up. Don't try and correct it, because if you do, it will just look a lot worse than if you just leave it as it is. Because these are, these are the wings. They don't doesn't matter if they don't line up. All right, so we've got wings at the top and a point, and two loose bits at the bottom. And what we're going to do with the two loose bits at the bottom on the side here, we've got two layers. We're well, only holding the top layer, we're going to fold it, this outside edge, to the inside line. So just like that. And this, that little gap that you've left there will really help just here. It'll make these points nicer and clearer. And you should have these two little fold lines just there. If you've not, you've probably got the wrong end. Check that you've got the opened end at the bottom. So we're going to repeat that another three times. Outside edge to the inside line. And what you're going to try and do is try and make this the opened end as neat as possible, because that's your, your crane's face and tail. See, I'm doing this one quite fast, so it won't be as neat as I'd want it to be. That's the third one and the last one. You've got your open end here. Outside edge to the inside line. Right then, we're almost done. So now we've got this like this. And if you hold it with the open end at the bottom, you've got two pieces at the top like that and a point in the centre. Right, we're almost done. So you've got it this way. You've got the point in the center. What you want to do is put your finger underneath one layer and then underneath one layer the other side. And what I like to do to try and make this easier is instead of it being folded that way, you fold them all the opposite way. And then work that flat. What that allows you to do is this next fold, it makes it a lot easier. You've still got your open end at the bottom. And with it flat, you should be able to fold that part up like that put it into itself. You see this that's the millimeter gap that we left just there. And now it's going to be folded backwards. Without that gap that would have been a lot more difficult. So we're going to do the same thing this side. We fold that flap up into itself and then reverse the fold. Alright let's do one of those again just so you're clear on it. So that's where you should have been. We're going to open one side up, fold up the top as far as it goes, into itself, and then close it. Let's go to the other side, open the other side, fold it up as far as it goes, into itself, and then close it. Alright, so we're almost there. What we've got to do now, I like to have the head pointing higher up than the tail. So we decide which which side's the head and which side's the tail. Yeah. And I want this one to be the head. So what I do holding this part loosely. I'll uh, move that to where I think it should be. And let's go for about there. And the tail wants to be lower, so we're holding that part loosely. Moving this bit down. So that way we want the tail. And then we squash that bit flat and that'll hold that in place. Alright, so now you've got these two large flaps here and your diamond in the centre. And just fold one of these flaps down. Almost there. Just put them out of the way. Fold one of these flaps down. Turn it over. Fold the other flap down. Like that. And there we go. We're almost there. So you've got his tail here. And this is the head. And your last fold for the standard model would be to make his head like this. And what I like to do is, if you just 
pinch it flat and fold it to about where you want it to be. So instead of going down, let's have one parallel to itself. And you put that section in there. And you squish him flat. Oh, okay, he's turned his nose down for us. And that is your standard crane model. <clears throat> Let's show you some of the more of these extra folds that I think we can do. Alright, we've got a kink in the tail. The kink in the tail is made exactly the same way you make the head. But you start a bit further down, squish it flat, push it down, push it back together. And then you go back the opposite way, quite close to the original fold. And then squish it flat. And that's kink in the tail. I think it looks pretty good from the top, but not so good from the side. Alright, we've got, I've put flat part, a flat part, a flat edge on the edge of the wing, and the diagonal line. So it's up to you what you want to do, but to do that, if you turn him over, and you look at the underside, decide how you want the line, to, uh, the edge to go. So let's do a flat one. And you fold it underneath itself and undo it. Open the wing up, and you put that flat fold back in on itself, and then close the wing back up. And that's how you make a flat edge on the edge there. That's quite neat. And the last one, this bulb on the top, which I don't like, but I see quite a lot of people doing it. It's really easy, you hold both the wings and pull them. Anyway, I don't like that, so we're not doing that one. So yeah, that's your crane model. Thank you very much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you very much.